ओम नमस्ते माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट वाइल्ड लूप वाइल्ड लूप दैट इज अ कंडीशनल लूप आ वाइल्ड लूप इज अ कंडीशनल लूप दैट विल रिपीट द इंस्ट्रक्शंस विद इन इट सेल्फ एज लॉन्ग एज द कंडीशन रिमेन्स ट्रू एंड द सिंटेक्स ऑफ द वाइल्ड लूप इट विल बी लुक लाइक दिस इज वाइल्ड की वर्ड इज देयर नेक्स्ट यू हैव टू डिफाइन द लॉजिकल एक्सप्रेशंस कोलोन next your loop bo loop body should be at here so look at the example example is there in your next page here it's written that is a equals to 5 while a greater than 0 colon print hello a next a equals to a minus 1 print loop over so this is your first simple program of while loop so look at the score uh, look at this code and now i will explain you that how this code is working so first here we define that is a equals to 5 a is a variable and and we define 5 into a next we define while loop while so this while keyword is here next the logical expression that is a greater than 0 so this is your basically the condition so here the condition is check that is the value of a is greater than 0 or not if the value of a is greater than 0 then your body of the loop that's mean this print statement and your this statement it will be execute okay so here the a is 5 so 5 is greater than 0 so here i am writing that is 5 is greater than 0 so your body of the loop uh, this statement body of the loop uh, this two statement it will be execute in the first time it is print hello a mm -hmm. that's mean here it will be print that is hello 5 look at this statement that is hello 5 next a equals to a minus 3 so right now a is became a minus 3 so a is right now 5 5 minus 3 equals to 2 so the right now the value of a is became 2 so here i write it is a value of a right now is became 2 next the uh, controller go back to the condition statement again is check the condition that is 2 greater than 0 next is check that is 2 greater than 0 if the condition is true then your body of the loop this line it will be execute and here you will get that is print hello a that's mean hello 2 this line will be execute next a equals to a minus 1 uh, sorry a equals to a minus 3 so right now a is to 2 minus 3 right now a became minus 1 okay now is check that is minus 1 greater than 0 so again again is check that is minus 1 greater than 0 when it get false that is minus 1 is not greater than 0 then it's come in the uh, then it come back to the outside of the loop statement and outside of the loop statement is that is print loop over so this line will be printed here so we get this answer hello 5 hello to loop over okay so read this one here this case 1 case 2 explain this thing that is first we define some value next we can check the condition if the condition is true next the body of the loop will be execute until the condition is true when it's become false then the next line of just loop it will be execute go to next page here your another example is there that is n equals to 1 while n less than 5 square of n is n into n next n plus equals to 1 that's mean is basically n equals to n plus 1 and print thank you so now i hope you can understand a little bit that how it's work first we define that is n equals to 1 okay next we check that is n less than 5 so here the condition is n less than 5 so here first the condition is become 1 less than 5 is this condition is satisfied it's true so this two line it will be print so print that is a square of n so square of n right now n is 1 so square of n is 1 is is there so it's print in this position next 1 in n into n n into n means basically 1 into 1 that's why i get 1 in this position next n equals to n plus 2 1 so right now n became 2 so the value of n is right now became 2 next is check that is n less than 5 so again is check that is n means 2 less than 5 if it's less than 5 then this line it will be again print so the square of n right now n is 2 the square of 2 is 2 into 2 4 
okay next n equals to n plus 1 so right now n became 3 so right now n became 3 so next is check that is 3 less than 5 if it satisfies 3 less than 5 then again this line will be executed so here we get the square of n that means 3 is 3 into 3 9 okay next again it will be check for 4 when it will be n plus n equals to n plus 1 that's mean n will become 4 again it will be checked that is 4 less than 5 if it's there so this line again it will be print that is 4 square of n is 4 is 4 into 4 that's mean 16 now uh, now look at here that is again after execute this line right now n equals to n plus 1 so right now n will become 5 in this position now it's check that is 5 less than 5 but here this condition is false so the exec uh, controller will come to the next line just after while loop and here the next line is that is print statement so print thank you so after that it line print at here this thank you okay next part that is that is here defined that is anatomy of while loop that's mean the different parts of the while loop the different part is there here if we look at this example we can understand that is first we initialize some value so first point is the initialize expressions next test expression that means a condition checking next body of the loop and next updations okay so i repeat this one the first statement here is a initialize expression so here you have to define or you have to initialize the loop variable loop variable must be initialized at here in the example we define n as a loop variable and we give some value of the n so here we initialize the value of the loop variable here i define one you can define any numbers according to your choice or according to the program demands next your condition so checking condition so here the uh, this that uh, the text expression is an expression whose truth value decide that whether the loop would body will be executed or not that's mean here we checking the condition and the checking the condition is here so after initialize next your checking condition the condition if the condition is true then the body of the loop will be executed otherwise the body will body of the loop will not be executed so uh, this is your step number two that's mean the second thing third thing that is a body of the loop so after checking you can see the body of the loop is there it can be one line two line three line five line it can be a more than um, hundred line also but it depends on the programs next the last part that is your update expression so next this is your update update expression means you have to update or you have to change your loop variable value so here my loop variable value is in and the last line or the last part where i change the loop variable value here i increase by one i can increase by one or increase by two or three any numbers i can as well as i can also decrease by one decrease by two decrease by three the different number so there are four parts first you have to initialize the value next you have to check the condition next there is a body of the loop and next your updation value okay so next is there we'll go to the next page in the next page you have there are two uh, there are something is there that you have to keep in your mind that is while first thing is that is you have to define your loop variable and you have to give some value to your loop variable so if you are not write this thing you just write n less than 5 so the value of the n is not defined at here so it will be show you error so for this one you have to define the value of the n or your loop variable value it can be a b c d any character that it is your choice only next one is that is you have to update your loop variable value okay the loop variable must be updated inside the body of the while or uh, for any kinds of but here we define the uh, while loop that's why the while loop is here uh, so the loop variable must be updated inside the body of the while in a way that after some time the text condition become false otherwise your loop will be become an endless loop or it will become an infinite loop so here you have to define or you have to update your loop variable value if you are not update your loop variable value your loop can be an endless it can be a infinite loop so look at here this example here is defined it is a equals to 5 that is we initialize the value of the a at here next we give the condition that is a less than 
0 next we print a so the value of a it will be printed here that's a 5 next again the controller go back to in, in this condition and here value of a is 5 so again it will be checked that is 5 is greater than 0 yes condition print a that's mean print 5 again it will be go back to the h condition it will be fine that is 5 is less greater than 0 again it will be print 5 so in this way your loop is become an endless loop it's become an infinite loop and the your condition uh, sorry your execution it will be continued so to stop your executions you have to define you have to update your loop variable value here we define one loop here we change the loop variable value by minus one we write at here it is a minus equals to one that's mean a equals to a minus one so after print this uh, after print a value a value is decreased by one so first is 5 next a equals to a minus 1 so right now a became 4 so 4 is greater than 0 print 4 print a means 4 again a equals to a minus 1 so it will become 3 in this way it will be continue okay now in your next space there are two program these two programs are very important program you have to read this program you have to understand this program and you have to practice this program also so first one that is your program to calculate factorial of a number these two programs students you have to write in your computer lab copy this is your question this is your program code and this is your output there are two output is there first one and second one okay same thing is also for the next program this is your program question you have to write your question next you have to write your code and next this is your output give at here that is your question next this is your code so write at here code within the code heading you write you have to write the answers next you have to write the output you give output heading at here and next you show this output okay so i explain you the first program that is num factorial of a program here we define it is num equals to int input enter a number okay so you have to take one number from the users and show the value into num variable next i define it is fact equals to one a equals to one so here we define another two variables as fact and a and we increase and, and we uh, and assign one value in that particular variable next my condition part that is while a less than equals to num and next i write this is fact multiplication equals to a and next a plus equals to one and the last thing that is print this statement here i write also these two statement so that you can understand both the statements are equal you can write this one or this one and this here i write this fact equals to fact into a and a equals to a plus one okay you can write this statement or this statement this statement or this statement now i am going to make a dry run so that you can understand it properly okay so first we define that is fact equals to one and a equals to one and we suppose we take the value from the user uh, as four and we store that value into num so num is four okay i hope factorial that's you already know that is factorial of four that's four factorial is means yes, basically it's basically four into three factorial that's mean four into three into two factorial that's mean four into three three into two into one okay so basically factorial of the four factorial of four is basically four into three into two into one so this calculation we will do in this code so here i define all the variable value at here now your condition is that is while a less than equals to num so my condition is while a less than equals to num so a less than equals to num means a less than equals to num means a means 1 1 less than equals to 4 so your condition is true at here so now the your next line that is your fact equals to fact plus a and a equals to a plus 1 okay so right now this condition is satisfied here so fact equals to fact plus a so right now fact is 1 a is 1 so 1 plus 1 fact is right now became 2 
and a equals to a plus 1 a is 1 right now 1 plus 1 a is also became 2 okay now is check that is so after complete this line again the control controller go back to the condition while condition and check the condition is true or not so again it's come back at in this position okay and it's check this condition is true or false so next the value of a is became 2 so 2 less than equals to 4 because num is 4 right now so here this condition is again true so when the condition is true so this two line will, will be executed so fact will become fact plus a that's mean fact will become 4 right now and a is became a plus 1 a is 2 so 2 plus 1 a right now became 3 okay next again it will be checked that is a less than equals to num that's mean it will be checked that is 3 less than equals to 4 if it satisfy at here then it's execute this two line where fact equals to fact plus a so right now fact is 4 and a is 3 so fact will become 4 plus uh, sorry it will be multiplication it's not a uh, addition at here so for this one uh, fact equals to fact into a so here it will be become i repeat to i repeat this one again for you so the first one when a is uh, 1 at here so 1 less than equals to 4 is satisfied so fact equals to fact into a so 1 into 1 right now fact became 1 and a is 1 so 1 plus 1 i got this one i write again so fact is 1 right now and a is a plus 1 so a became 2 okay next condition when 2 less than equals to 4 is satisfied at here so fact equals to fact into f right now fact is 1 and a is 2 so it will be fact will become 2 at here in this position a equals to a plus 1 so a will become 3 next one for this one 3 less than equals to 4 when this condition is satisfied then so fact equals to fact into a so right now fact is 2 a is 3 so fact will become 6 3 into 2 it will become 6 and a will become a plus 1 so it will be become 3 plus 1 it will become 4 so the next condition is checking that is 4 less than equals to 4 yes 4 is less than equals to 4 is satisfying so fact equals to fact into a so 6 into 4 it will be 24 and a will become 5 now the next condition is a less than equals to num so it will be checked that is 5 less than equals to 4 no this condition is not satisfying so it will be between the last line that is factorial of the number is fact and the, in the fact the final value is true so the factorial of the 4 is 24 okay now come to the next program in this program we define that is program to calculate and print the sum of the odd and even integer of the first n number so here we take n number from the user and up to that n number we find out the total number of odd numbers and total number of even number so here we write input statement we take the value from the user once ctr variable is here that is i defined a num name at here you can define also c in this position equals to one next we define it is sum even equals to sum odd equals to zero so sum even and sum odd they destroy the others two variable and we put zero into that particular variable next i define it is while ct at less than equals to n so suppose i take the value from the user that is uh, which value they are taking 25 so 25 so they need to be checked that is 1 less than equals to 25 yes it's satisfying so next is check that is if ctr modulus 2 equals to equal to 0 or not this is checking for odd or even number so ctr right now is 1 so modulus 1 that's mean 1 modulus 2 equals to equal to 0 for the first uh, value is checking but it's not so it will be come to the odd part and it will become sum odd plus equals to ctr so it will you can write this one sum odd equals to sum odd plus ctr so ctr value is 1 sum odd is 0 so 0 plus 1 1 so that 1 will be stored in the sum odd and again controller go back to its condition uh, Achha. next line is that is ctr plus equals to 1 that means ctr will, will be increased by 1 so right now ctr will become 2 so again controller go back to its condition it's check that is 2 it's check that is 2 less than equals to 25 is satisfied 
next is come that is CTR that means 2 modulus 2 equals equal to 0 yes this one is 0 so even will be add so that two number it will be add to the sum event so in this way this loop will be continue with the if condition here we define while loop with the if condition also and the finally after execution or after completing this while loop we get the total sum of the sum event and sum out so if you take 25 natural number so up to 25 we get the event and sum of the odd so sum of event means is basically here 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus dot dot up to 24 and here it is basically basically 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus up to 25 okay so write this to program in your computer lab copy also home number students